Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. On Friday, the US dollar index, which measures the greenback strength against a basket of six major currencies, slipped away from its October 2002 highs, or 20-year highs, around 109.12, and ended up lower to 107.80 on Friday from the close there, has put a slightly firmer stance into the currencies. What triggered it all was first that the US economic data that was released showed a better than expected retail sales in June. The market grew by 1%, while in May revised upwards to 06 Along with that, the U.S. consumer inflation accelerated to 9.1 in June, a pace not seen in more than four decades, while the producer inflation rose by 11.3 last month. Sparking worries, though, that the Fed, when we look towards their meeting that um, expected 75 base points, but some actually called in 100 base points. Viewing the Australian dollar, where well, we can see that the market has finally recognised that base around 66, 60, 65, with the outlook for the start of this week slightly firmer. With the clearance of 67, 70 around that region, has put a further foot to the top side, that is towards 68, 15, 45. In light of the pattern, I feel there is still potential to the upside and looking towards a clearance of 68.45 and up towards 69 cents as a potential target. With the euro also respecting that region of 99.50, after you can see four challenges did fail, and from the close of New York, slightly firmer to the start of the week, that looks towards 101.30.40 area. A break there will give further guidance up towards 102.20 as a potential target for the start of the week. Any pullback should be shallow. The dollar yen, well, the market's slightly stepping away from that top side challenge around 139.15.35. And from there is a slightly weaker to the start of the week. We can see that the market is now looking towards 137.30.60 and reassess from there. Looking at sterling. The market has also recognised that support level that was rejected at 118.15.30 and now in potential uh, bullish grounds to climb towards 119.65. A break there would give further upward movement that is towards this downtrend which is seen roughly around the 121.90 to 122 region. But I like the way this pattern has shaped up with bullish divergence and therefore should increase momentum. Sterling CAD, well, the market rejected that 154 area and also hit the highs around 155 last week. I still feel the, the bullish divergence and the strength that's increasing for Sterling CAD should eventually reach the shores around 155, 70, 80 to 156 and a half and then reassess from there. Slightly weaker for gold, but if we look at the pattern, we haven't taken out that bottom side of the range that's holding as bullish foundations at 1,686 to 91. In view of the pattern, we could see a slightly up step to the start of this week towards 1,726 to maybe 1,733 and reassess. And wrapping up with oil for the start of this week, well, the market is a little bit weaker into the start. However, there is still potential, that is, the market may actually still stab towards that top side of the range, roughly around the 97 area. However, from where we position, we may still see a very whipsaw price action into this week, with the support still looking around 92, 20, 40 and reassess. But overall, though, a weaker start that may actually eventually see a further gain into the middle of the week. That wraps it for the morning. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the Inch Day Port. And I hope you enjoy the great start to the day.